Generational curses in deliverance ministry. What's the linkage? I'd like to give you my perspective as someone actively involved in deliverance ministry for over 15 years. The Bible talks about generational curses. We understand in Exodus 34, 7 that the sins of the father are visited to the third and the fourth generations. Do you have a generational curse operating in your family or your bloodline? What we suggest to people is look up the family tree. Is there a lot of uh, repeating patterns, a lot of fear, depression, anger, that just seem to be uh, an abnormal uh, incident, number of incidents in your bloodline and your family? Those are evidences of a generational curse. And we need to understand that it is demonic spirits that carry out the generational curses. It's important to understand that if a person is not a believer in Christ, that those curses and those spirits are obviously in effect in that person's life. But here's the thing we need to understand from Scripture. It says in Galatians 3.13 that Jesus became a curse for us. So the curses have been broken. But here's the important part to understand. Just because the generational curse has been broken does not necessarily mean that the demonic spirits are automatically leave us. Sometimes they do right away and sometimes they do not. And that's an important distinction. Deliverance ministry is the driving out of demons. Talked about that in Mark 16, 17. One of the signs to follow believers is the driving out of demons. Now God can sovereignly deliver people as well from demonic spirits, but that is the definition of deliverance ministry. And yes, even after deliverance and apart from it, we need to battle and resist spirits and discern them when they're trying to come back to the house. Okay, so what's the linkage? Curses are broken by Christ, but the demon spirits can still be indwelling us, and that is an, the important distinction. These spirits can lie dormant in a person's life for years and not necessarily be manifesting, and then something happens, maybe a trigger of some kind, some sort of a trauma, unforgiveness, any number of things can suddenly activate that spirit or that curse at work in the person's life. It's important to understand that not everyone in the family is necessarily affected doesn't, you know, if there's a heavy a curse of addiction, alcoholism on the bloodline, doesn't mean everybody is necessarily becomes an alcoholic, but it's, but it's very prevalent when the curse is operating. So important to understand, uh, and words mean things, we're no longer living under the curse as believers, but the spirits can still be operating, and therefore, yes, even believers can still be um, operating or still be involved in under demonic torment. The bottom line, if there's demonic spirits at work in a person's life, they need to be kicked out. The person needs to be delivered from them. We hope that was an interesting overview of generational curses and the linkage to deliverance ministry. Thank you for watching.